All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and our boy Beerus is now on Global Dokkan. Um, Beerus is very, very good. One of the best units in the game, easily. I think it's very fair to say that. Um, I, I would say Cooler is better, but, you know, I've made the case several times that Beerus at his best is better than Cooler at his best. But it's just, Beerus is kind of specific with his links and stuff like that. I mean, I guess you could maybe say that Cooler is a, a tiny bit too, but not really because Cooler has all those Wicked Bloodline um, links, but like there's just so many like good freeze units on all those villain teams that you want to run anyway. It doesn't really, like Cooler's links don't really inhibit your team building, right? I mean, Beerus for the Realm of Gods team doesn't either because, you know, Whis and Vados is big. Now we got this turn, turn one. Um, now, I did show this at the end of the last Beerus Rainbow. I did, you know, you know, coming soon to global Beerus Rainbow. Um, I wanted to get this in that video, but I want to do a whole video centered around this. So, we're on the Realm of Gods team, Beerus. I brought Champa as well, because Champa does link up very, very well with Beerus. I mean, they have almost the same link set. There's two that are different. Um, let me see. Beerus has Prodigies, which Champa does not have. And then also Berserker, which Champa does not have. Um, I, real Champa should have Prodigies. I feel like probably more than more than meets the eye. That trash link that does nothing, right? Um, okay. So Beerus, by the way, this is not going to be his full passive because Beerus does need to be get hit. He does need to get hit before he attacks, um, in order for him to be at his full power. So let's see what Beerus does right here. Now, again, it is almost you, you would think counterintuitive, but. Vados actually does give quite the bigger buff to Beerus than Whis does because Vados is giving uh, Beerus 60% attack and defense from her passive. And then she also has an additional link with Beerus that Whis does not in the Innocence. Um, and then that is stupid, right? Because Whis, uh, of these, like, these are basically the four versions of sort of the gods that are in uh, Dokkan right now. The, the Dragon Ball Super gods, at least, right? Like, I'm not really counting, like, Supreme Kai and stuff like that. Um... These are basically like the four versions of these characters that are currently, you know, here in Dokkan. And of the four, Whis is the only one that doesn't have the Innocence. Very obviously, the way, like, they utilize the Innocence link, Whis definitely should have it. Um, especially over that trash gentleman link that they saddled him with. So, alright, let's go ahead and take a look at this rotation. Uh, Whis probably won't even get to attack, but we'll see. Beerus, I mean, again, this is him without his full passive. So, 4.79. So that was turn one without his full passive. Keep in mind, if Beerus got hit right there before he attacked, so he did five million turn one. Y you don't understand. Like, Beerus legitimately, like, turn one, we can get him to, like, eight million or something like that. Like, it it's it's going it, to like it's gonna be just ludicrous, right? Turn one. It, you know, I, I, Vados actually changed things quite a bit, I think, because... You know, we have Whis, who is a great partner for Beerus and Whis. And, like, I, I suppose you could have run... You know, LR Beerus and Whis is another unit you can run um, that is going to work pretty well with Beerus and stuff like that. But, like, the problem with LR Beerus and Whis is that they struggle for key so badly because they have no way to get key, and they've only got shocking speed as a key link. That severely limits them. They're good if you build the team around them and give them a whole bunch of key support and stuff like that, right? Um... Okay, so let's have... We're going to have God Topo Super first. No, actually, that was a mistake. Well, it doesn't... Th this Beerus isn't even... Like, he's not rainbowed or anything, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Um, but I was going to have God Topo first to get his little extra super attack buff. I again, it doesn't really matter too much. Then Champa and Beerus do share a lot of links, but remember, Champa is only supporting Universe 6. Uh, he is not supporting uh, Beerus, because Beerus, of course, is you know not on the Universe 6 category. 2.85 right there. That's still very good. Like, I... You know, it, it just, hmm. Like, if we're looking at Beerus, like, directly to, like, Kefla and stuff like that. Like, Kefla turn one can do, like, 3 million 50% chance to dodge. But she does need orbs. Now, the thing about Beerus is that, like, his defense, too. Especially if he's able to, Okay, so this... Okay. This is going to be interesting. Now, Supremo 5 time does not give as big of a buff as Whis does. But she's giving a nice buff. All right, so Beerus is at 140k right there. After he gets hit, we can't tell what it's going to be, but it's at least going to be a minimum of like 250k. Because um, Beerus gets 
what, 70% attack and defense after he gets hit for that turn. I mean, because it applies in a different, like, sort of phase than the defense he gets and the attack he gets, it just leads to both his attack and defense being just monstrous. He is, I would assume, going to one-shot Kefla here. I mean, if he doesn't, she's going to be left with a sliver of health. Um, Beerus is very powerful. I mean, you guys are able to see this, right? Like, yeah, 6.5 million right there. Okay. Um, so again, like, you know, when I'm saying that, like, Beerus at his best is better than Cooler at his best, like, this, that's what I'm talking about, right? Because, like, you know, we can very easily do Beerus's, not his max, but, like, there's not much, like, like okay, because Beerus can be super effective against all types if there's a Realm of Gods category enemy, which is not that bad of a condition, because that's, you know, some of the, the strongest units and what are going to be the strongest bosses in the game are Realm of Gods, right? So that's not really an issue. Um, but then he can also do his active skill, uh, starting from the fourth turn when HP is 70% or less. So obviously with all of those active, you know, his damage, his, like, the level of impressiveness we're going to get from him is going to be a lot higher. Um, now, this will be interesting to see how Beerus is going to do against this Kefla right here. All right, so this is a Beerus with one dupe. There he is at 4.69 million. So he's getting 50% from Whis. He's also getting 35% from God Topo right there. Um, very strong. And then, of course, he is stacking attack as well. So, like, Beerus is not to be underestimated, but you just have to understand that comparing Beerus to something like Cooler, or, or I think Kefla is going to be better in this aspect as well, when we're talking about Battlefield and Super Battle Road, it's going to be much easier to use Kefla and Cooler in situations where they can contribute in Super Battle Road and Battlefield than it is for Beerus, right? Although I suppose you could use Gowasu and Zamasu um, for Beerus, which I guess is going to work good, but I, I don't know. I haven't found Beerus to be particularly great in either Super Battle Road or Battlefield. Um, is he good in any easy A's? Um, Family Kamehameha, no. SCR Gogeta, no. Merge Zamasu, no. Tech Beerus, no. Oh, yeah. Blue Vegeta. Int Blue Vegeta. The easy that comes out to global, um, very soon. Oh, and he's also good against the Rage Chunks as well. So Beerus does have two easy A's he's going to be good from. So that one of them is, what, Explosion of Anger? Or I guess it's called Exploding Rage now. We usually just go with the global name, right? So Exploding Rage he's on. And then what's the other one? I believe uh, Vegeta's weak to Bond of Master and Disciple, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, in which you could use Whis. Oh, and Whis is really good for easy A's, even if with type advantage, because he's 70% chance to dodge. All right, so that was this. Um, Chompa doesn't really do much, but I did want to include him. Let me, let's go ahead and hop into another event. Uh, I'm going to replace Chompa with Western Supreme Kai. So, like, now it, it's like, besides Beerus, every other unit is a support type unit for Beerus. So we're going to have the two Beeruses, and then full of support type units. And this team is not weak at all, because Whis, Vados, and Supreme of Five Time are very good defensive units. All three of them are. So, like, you know, Re again, Realm of Gods, I, I don't really know what they were thinking, but I, I just don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing the Realm of Gods team again. Uh, we have our boy Beerus around here. Um, this time... Uh, I did put Western Supreme Kai on here. Of course, she is another Realm of Gods category support type unit. I would say there's a very good chance that West Supreme Kai is going to be... Hmm, I actually... I, we don't... Okay, so we don't want to super attack with Beer, this Beerus right here. I, I'll show why in a second. But um, I think West Supreme Kai could get a Dokkan Awakening when uh, we potentially get like a new Kid Buu, right? Because, you know, Kid Buu is kind of the one that killed her, right? So... Um, I do think that that's very possible, um, that she'll get an Awakening. Uh, I think it would make a lot of sense. And, you know, honestly, we really could use an Awakening for her, too, right? Like, she, she, well, although, man, I mean, she, her with an Awakening would be real, real crazy. Because, I mean, she's already super good, just as a base SSR. It's actually very bizarre, by the way, that they released her just as an SSR. Hey. So we'll see if uh, Supreme Kai is going to get an Awakening anytime soon. Um, again, I, I think when the Kid Buu drops, uh, we could definitely could see it. Okay, so what I want to do is we want to leave Whis and uh, Vados together. Um, I don't want to... I want to make sure that Gotenks is not finished off on this turn. But I don't think just Whis and God Topo will be able to do that. And then next turn, 
hopefully what we want is for go tanks to be able to hit our beerus because what we're looking for is turn one right so basically because of the fact that beerus stacks his attack that's why i missed the, the super attack within the first turn because i wanted to see realistically like what he could do turn one and i, I say i use realistically right you would run both Whis and Vados on a team with Beerus, right? It's not like I'm like, okay, so like I, you know, Beerus is physical and I've got like AGL Pan in front in the turn before him super attacking. Great Salmon 1 and 2. I've got B Pan on the team, like doing all kinds of crazy shenanigans just to bleed out a little bit of extra attack. Like I'm actually using a, a team that you would use, right? Like that's the thing here. Um, and that's why like, like Beerus... These attack stats aren't, like, unnatural that he's doing, right? Like, th this is him just absolutely destroying, dominating. But, again, like, you know, some of these other teams that he's on... I, I mean, let's take a look at it. I suppose, you know, he would actually be very good on movie bosses, honestly. Because he's got Prodigies, he's got Shocking Speed, he has Fierce Battle. Dragon Ball Super Broly has all three of those. So, I mean, you know, that, see, that's why when Dragon Ball Super Broly came out, I went crazy over him because like he has prepare for battle and shocking speed. Like that's, that means a lot. And now, please go tanks. Beautiful. Oh, all right. Let's see what this bad boy can do. So again, we did not, this, this is his first time supering. So this is like his turn one attack stat. No active skills. And again, this rotation is not even unrealistic. This is like a realistic rotation because Beerus, you know, is at 125k defense right now. He'll shoot up past 200k after he's hit. Then Whis has a 70% chance to dodge. Vados has a 50% chance to dodge. Both Whis and Vados seal lower attack. They support. They raise defense. Whis heals. Like, they do so much that it's just kind of like, you know, you would run them. So, let's see what we're going to do with Beerus. Um, this is going to be big. Very big. Very, very big for a turn one attack stat, basically. Uh, Gotenks doesn't lower attack or anything like that. Uh, this is probably going to do double digits, by the way. I think so. <laughs> oh, six million. So, turn one, you could hit six million with Beerus. Um, there's not a lot of units that could do that turn one. <laughs> Look how much damage he did to Gotenks. Like, that's in... St this Gotenks... Like, okay... Gotenks is... He's just like the OG Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks bosses. Bro! He's just like the OG Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks bosses, right? Where they just are ridiculously defensive, Gotenks is. So, the fact that Beerus nearly one-shotted him is insane. Like, Beerus is, like, so very good. But, again, it, depending upon the situation and, like, Battlefield, some of these places, he, he just isn't really able to measure up. And that's why, like, Cooler being as good as he is everywhere with all types of units and stuff like that, I just feel like there's a lot of value in that. God Topo, by the way, has godly power. He has fierce battles. So he has several links um, that he's going to have with our boy Beerus, which, you know, <laughs> it's going to lead to this. Uh, just absolutely insane. Like, uh, I, I don't like I, is there even really anything else that we need to, to show or talk about or discuss like this is they really did right by Beerus Whis and Vados and like I really hope that they do expand upon the gods and the angels I mean Dokkan we're past five years so like they're, they're definitely going to and Beerus did hit top grossing. Now, it very well could have been because Cooler was on Beerus' banner on JP. I, listen, I know, unfortunately, Cooler was removed on Global's banner. I, I do think it is stupid. I agree. That, because bringing Blue Cow King Goku back was good, but just replace Transforming Vegeta with Blue Cow King Goku. Keep Cooler on the banner. That's what they should have done. Because that would have made the banner very good. And then at that point, you know, if you're free to play or something like that, you're like, damn, like... I don't know. I kind of want to summon here. And then you summon and then Vegito Blue and Gogeta Blue comes out. And then you're like, ah, I'll buy a couple of packs. Like, that should, like that's the way Akatsuki is thinking with these things. So I don't know why they did that. Because um, taking Cooler off that banner hurts it a lot. But considering Beerus got top grossing, me and Goresh did research. And I believe Beerus is the first non-Saiyan to hit top grossing for JP Dokkan. Uh, so because of that, 
you know, maybe they will look into giving us, you know, maybe a Champa Dokkan Fest or, you know, uh, a Vermoth or Belmoth, um, the Clown God of Destruction. Maybe he gets a Dokkan Fest or maybe they start to get units that are super, super good like Beerus is, like Whis is, like Vados is. Champa's not on the same level, but I mean, he came out in 2018, right? So that's not really Champa's fault because Beerus, Whis, and Vados have all come out within the last three months. So, like, they're super, super new and relevant, whereas Champa's quite old. If Champa's passive activates, he can be as strong as them. But, you know, like, if Champa came out nowadays, like, it's like his category buff would be, like, for everyone or something. Like, that's how they would make him insane. If that was, dude, if that was the case, oh, man, would Champa be crazy, especially with Beerus, right? Because Beerus does so much extra damage because he gets his attack buff on super attack, just like Kefla. That's why Beerus and Kefla can, like, put up these crazy numbers that it's pretty difficult for Cooler to get to. It's because Cooler gets his attack at the start of turn, whereas Beerus and Kefla, they get it on super attack. So it's just easier for them to put up these monstrous, big, fat numbers. Um, but I guess it is offset a little bit, because Cooler does have big, bad bosses, which is the best link in the game. 25% attack and defense, which is just, like, insane, right? So... Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I don't know what, like, what else you want me to do? Like, like you put Beerus and Vados on the same rotation. Vados is giving Beerus 60% attack and defense. Plus, they have Godly Power, Innocence, Fierce Battle, and Shocking Speed. Like, uh, it's GG. Like, there's nothing that can stand in front of this, this Beerus. You have Beerus Rainbowed with Vados next to him. And, again, they're unstoppable. And then on the other rotation, you have Beerus and Whis. And then on that, like, you know, Beerus and Whis. Whis is not giving Beerus as much attack. But Whis is a better defensive unit than Vados. And Beerus and Whis heal. Like, if uh, Beerus and Vados, they have no healing. Beerus next to Whis, you have 20% healing on that turn. So, you know, they're, like, it's not like... Vados is better for pure stats and pure numbers. But actually going through, like, an event or something like that, Whis probably is a little bit better um, overall at, with Beerus. Just, you know the healing as well as uh the connoisseur link and stuff like that but i don't know y'all let me know what you think um we're done here i mean realm of gods is so insane and western supreme kai i feel like she'll get an awakening in 2020 i mean she's gonna be so crazy she's already so good you know giving crit giving this monster buff like dude she gives 40 percent attack and defense right now to realm of gods like are they gonna make her give 45 percent 50 percent I have to imagine they're going to keep... I don't know if they'll go above 40%, man. Like, I I feel like they might give her, like, two key. They'll keep it at 40% attack and defense. Maybe give her a chance to perform a, uh, a crit up to 10% for support. And then they give her, like, 100% attack and defense to herself at the start of turn. Like, that's how you could make her a lot better, right? But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. Um, things are pretty crazy on, in the realm of God's land. You know, I really want to say Pure Saints is still the best team, the best category, but, like, uh, they, they just keep buffing Realm of Gods, man. Like, uh, you know, we got LRUI Goku, and it's like, man, it, it's tough for me to say that Pure Saints is the best. And then now Realm of Gods gets Vados, too. It's like, dude, it's like, can we go five seconds without putting a god-level unit on Realm of Gods? Is that okay? Like, I don't know. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, these boys and girls, I guess, you know, Supremo 5, Time, Vados... Western Supreme Kai, they're pretty freaking nuts. So let me know what you guys think. I'll catch y'all next time.